More than half the period has expired. Pittsburgh's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Penguins looking against the half wall. They score! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flat out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. The Penguins' perseverance pays off. They're now up by a pair here in the third. Well, well-deserved, too, I would say, James. They've played a better game now with this two-goal cushion. They want to nurse this thing home. Moves it to Malkin. And the extended stick ends that one. Taken along the wall by Dickinson. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Malkin. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Dickinson. And he hangs on to the puck. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Fires it on net, and that sails over the net. Now you gotta get it on the net, but I see what he's doing. Lots of the net is gone with the size of the goalies. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Penguins have it from their own end. And now he angles it across to Smith. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Athanasiu. Quick pass to Kachuk. Chicago's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's off a stick. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. From one point man to another. Oh, they had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Couldn't complete the play. And he takes the pass. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Mulkins going off for slashing. Chicago's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Their power play hasn't been able to score yet. I think what's available, James, is the cross crease. The one-time play is there. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And now he moves it to Achari. Puck scooped up by O'Connor. And here's a cross-corner dump in. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Penguins take possession in the neutral zone. From the right side and up the middle. Chicago's got it behind the net. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Chicago's got it across the line. Cutting to the slot. Moves it quickly over to Achari. The Penguins get a hold of it. And that pass doesn't go. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the feed from his own end. The Blackhawks play the puck from the back of the net. Grabbed along the boards by Hall. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Johnson. Takes the feed. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Carter. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Graves. Chicago's power play can take advantage. And you know what? A real blown opportunity to seize the momentum in this one. That's a big swing and a miss right there for the power play. Critical moment of the game, and they're not able to cash in. Can't make the connection on the pass. Felino's going to play it against the half Whoa. wall. He scores! Well, don't turn this one off yet. Well, you better not. We're still here. If we're here, That's you right. got to be here, too. When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. 
He's got lots covered, not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. Chicago's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset, it changes the way you approach this, and you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it on over to Radish. Throws it in. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Passed up ahead. Pass broken up. The Blackhawks take possession of the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Great read in the offensive zone. Scores! It's like an endless supply of goals. It doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. If somebody scores, you know or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. Here in the late goings of the period, Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nice job tying up his opponent. The pass in front, and that's intercepted. Takes a shot, turns him away. Takes the feed. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Look at the attack, and the fans are loving this right now. Feeds it to Crosby. Here's a blast. Oh, good stuff on the play. Morasic's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Chicago's regained possession of the puck. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. The Penguins gain control of the puck. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Jones gets my vote tonight. He stayed with it, and even though he hasn't been able to get any points, he continues to work hard, guys. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets the puck over to Polino. Taken by Achari. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Can't make it work. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Massive save on the breakaway. Well, he stayed with the shooter there. That's an outstanding pressure-filled save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Blackhawks win it. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. The Blackhawks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. It's a great way to protect the lead. Get it deep into the offensive zone and try and run around on the forecheck a little bit. Kill the clock when you can. And now he tries to get it across to Ruido. Picked up along the boards by Smith. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Fails to find the open man. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out on the ice. The Penguins have it behind the net. Ruido's got the puck in his own zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes the shot, and that goes wide. Late in this game, that might be their best chance to score. He just doesn't capitalize. Along the half wall with the puck. Angles it over to Ruido. Nice pass. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sends a pass over. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Raquel. Nearing the final minute of the third. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. 
The Penguins' top line is really a great line anyway, but their chemistry right now makes them almost impossible to defend. No wonder they've got the lead. Pittsburgh gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Play it. Called for offside. And the coach calls for a huddle with a timeout here. What sort of message do you send here? Well, the first thing is, is try to get everybody organized and rested. And then whatever play you've designed, you want to make sure everyone knows where they're supposed to be. The Blackhawks win the faceoff. They fight for it along the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Harkins moves it ahead. Picked up along the wall by the tank. Whoa. Scores into the empty net. Well, he shouldn't miss that. I mean, there's <laughs> nobody standing there. Put it in the cage, man. No pressure, right? Here in the later stages of this period, the Penguins have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Chicago's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves the puck down low. Moves it around along the half wall. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Poked away at center by Graves. Quick shot! Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. This one seemed to be controlled right from the faceoff surface. Well, the strength of their team is up the middle of the ice, James. They're tough to match up against. They're all really good on the draw, and they had the pocket line. All starts from when it hits the ice. And they'll come out and salute the fans after the win. Just the way it should be. You win, you salute the fans, the fans get to say thanks. I love it. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night.